Good evening. Just starting a new game here. I uh, very quickly explain that I had. This is, I think, fifth time through. I had three or four large save games in my Subnautica folder that I recently moved to a different file so I could keep those save games um, but they wouldn't be taking up resources in that folder Woozy there after that bump on the head. Let a little bit of this play through. See, we don't really have much right now. I do have mods running in the background. Initially, you don't have, uh, let me get rid of a couple of things here. Just to get rid of a couple of messages. All right. You do, um, I do have mods running in the background. Initially, there isn't much you can do with them. Although you do see here the size of the inventory space on the PDA is 8 wide, 10 long. So there are 80 spaces in here. <clears throat> Items that would ordinarily take up four spaces are only going to take up one because of another mod. I have a mod that will do custom item sizes. One mod gives me, one mod adjusts the inventory size, one mod adjusts the item sizes and these are configurable in a file and I can get into that more if anybody wants is anybody if anybody's interested wants to send me a message um, you see another mod down here on the bottom 12 quick, quick slots that's another mod that's also configurable you can configure it anywhere between the four standard quick slots and the 
12 you see here. Change a configuration in a file. And I believe I explained some of this in a previous video, but um, since that video, my previous save game file, my previous save game file, got to a size that it wouldn't load anymore. I had originally I had four save game files. I took one of them out so I could play the other three and then I gave up playing two of those because they were done. Uh, th actually the other three were all done. Uh, the There was an earlier save game that I got rid of uh, because it was done. <laughs> the last one that I was using to demonstrate mods and posting videos on it, posting videos on those demonstrations, um, after building a crap ton of mods to demonstrate, loading new mods to demonstrate after demonstrating how the Seamoth can go down clear to the um, lava zones at 1700 meters. The file got so huge that it wouldn't load when I tried to go back into Subnautica. Uh, so many batch objects and, and whatnot. Um, so what I decided to do was just start a new save game here. Just start from the beginning and do a new playthrough. And I intended to do that anyways. So we'll get into this here. Um, now, what a person would do at this point in a playthrough, you've got some stuff in the locker here. Some nutrient blocks, some filtered water, some flares. Priorities would be building a repair tool so you can fix your life pod, you can fix your radio, you can start getting messages, you need to eat, drink, so you don't die of starvation and thirst. You need to scavenge the ocean floor um, for materials, raw materials. So when you open the fabricator, you have things you can make. These dials will be blue instead of gray. Now, in the interest of saving time, here's your medical kit fabricator. You can take out your first aid kit and um, because I have open quick slots, quick slots, it's going to put it in my inventory. It's going to put it in the quick slot. I don't want to carry it around in a quick slot. And climb the ladder. Every single gameplay I've ever done myself or I've ever watched, the bird will fly over as you go up the ladder. Hmm. 
and then you jump huh? in. Coral tubes. Let's check out where we landed here. Um, the life pods will spawn in different areas. Eat something. Take a look at where we ended up in comparison to other playthroughs I've done. See it's getting dark. We need to swim to surface. Break the rocks at that said gives you little clues as you move around break limestone we can go break the limestone probably gave us titanium swim to the surface and collect acid mushrooms Okay, each battery um, takes a couple acid mushrooms and a piece of copper. Titanium is useful in building things. That's a gasopod that we narrowly avoided there as he pooped out gas pods. Increasing local radiation. It won't blow up just yet. We've got time. Now, as I started to explain, I've swam the ocean floor and collected minerals in my first three playthroughs before I figured out the mods and how to utilize a few simple little cheat codes to make life a little easier. And until I get things sort of established, I don't want to waste a lot of time just boring you with swimming around the ocean looking for minerals. I can show you where to find certain things later, like um, shale outcrops can be, you can find them in the caves down underneath the creep vines. Where you see the creep vines growing, underneath the creep vines are these cool caves. Um, you have to kind of fight off the stalkers a little bit to get down in there. Um, but you'll find shale outcrops down in there which have like copper and silver. Um, you might find some lead down there, probably find some lead down in there, maybe even the occasional piece of lithium, but down over um, the sheer wall going toward the red grass, you'll probably be more likely to find some lithium out there. So I know where to find the stuff. What I'm gonna do in the interest of moving things along. And in, in fact, there's a mod that will move things along for you. There's a mod that will speed up 
the first portion of gameplay by giving you automatically giving you the first few items you need see I'm already getting hungry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit F3 ordinarily what you would do is you'd hit F3 and you'd hit F8 to give you a pointer I've already disabled the console um, but the disable console here would be checked I've already unchecked it in a previous playthrough so you would uncheck disable console and then you don't need F8 anymore and then you hit enter and um, once you have the little a box in the lower left hand corner of the screen you can um, you don't need F3 anymore now what I'm gonna do some people would probably have a problem with <laughs> some of the purists I'm gonna make a few of the first items I need. In fact, one of, I'll show you right away one of the mods. Another mod. Chi some of these cakes, Reginald cake, Gary fish cake, spade fish cake, hover fish cake, so on and so forth. You can read them as I go up the list. This is a this particular cake, a Chinese potato cake. is one um, I've particularly formulated. It takes a bubble tree sample, a Chinese potato sample, and a coral tube sample. Now later on when I have a base, I will have these items growing in the base. I will go to the floating island and I will collect these samples and I will plant them in my base so they're readily available coral tube sample you samples you can pick up all over the ocean floor anywhere there's coral tubes so I will have these items readily available in my base and rather than using the no-cost cheat I will just make these items from inventory but I'm gonna make a few right now half a dozen or so to keep me stocked up through this first hour or so of gameplay. See my hunger's flashing and I'm gonna go ahead and eat one. And now I spoke about the first few, first few pieces of equipment you're going to need. Survival knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Brass's Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Scanner. make these in the inventory that I want them in my quick slots and I don't have to rearrange them later flashlight put a habitat builder in there And finally, a repair tool. Chewing up my cough drop by picking up a little bit of a cold. I right, will go over here and select repair tool and we'll fix this. 
That'll get the lights on. Fix the radio. We'll have a message right away. Okay, we can get rid of, hit, um, press E on your keyboard to get rid of the tool that you're holding. I don't remember if you can remount the fire extinguisher. I drag it in. Six. No, it's not letting me place it. <laughs> Show you a cool trick, though. Check this out. Fun with fire extinguishers. Got a little got a little jet propulsion of all your own. Alright, uh, let's go get the radio message. You always get a second radio message right away. It's probably life pod six. Oh, yeah. Life yeah. Pod six. I yeah. Have a life pod six. Board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Yeah, six is always the first distress call you get, but it'll be. Um, one of the later life pods that you actually go find because you have to have a radiation suit first I'm gonna get rid of that fire extinguisher and probably the first aid kit as well And now in the interest of being able to stay underwater a little longer. Once we make a standard O2 tank, the high capacity will show up. There it is. We can make fins. Go to blueprints. See high capacity is in there now. I like, excuse me, I like to keep um, getting rid of these messages or they really stack up this is the only information we have on life pod sixes um, location right now later on when we 
find life pod four, that'll give us more of a clue to life pod six's locations, but it's actually not very far from here in the red grass area. Let's go back to, let's take this one out, and then go back to the fabricator. See, it shows us now that we have one piece of new equipment, the high capacity O2 tank. And you see there, it shows you that ordinarily would take uh, two pieces of glass, four pieces of titanium, and one piece of silver ore to make this. So there's that. And now this opens up yet another blueprint the rebreather. You see that pin when I hover over this? That is another mod. I can uh, click on that pin and it puts the icon up there. Now it shows me, let me bring up enter here so I can have my pointer. It shows me that I need a um, circuit board and a piece of fiber mesh in order to make a rebreather. And if you wanted to take that one step further, <coughs> need to hit enter and get rid of that. You could scroll down and see. somewhere. You could uh, pin what it takes. It's not a circuit board, it's a wiring kit. You could pin what it takes to make a wiring kit. Okay. It takes one piece of silver to make a wiring kit. So you need one piece of silver to make a wiring kit and it takes one wiring kit and one fiber mesh to make a wee breather. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a point of detonation. Continuing to monitor. So just a neat little mod to be able to go out and find what you need in order to make what you need. Back to blueprints, yes. You can X out of them right there instead of going to the trouble of finding them in your inventory again. Now, the combination of the high capacity O2 tank and the rebreather will give me. I believe it's 132 seconds of air. And what we're going to do now if I can get my bearings 
Let's figure out where I had my base structure last playthrough. There was a certain area, a certain slope. Now there's a new radio message. There was a certain slope I used for my moon pools. A little odd clearance under the moon pool. And it led down to a creep vine area. I'd like to find the same spot. That's not it. Make it daytime. Day cheat, D A Y. Oh, we gotta see this. Oh, still two hours. Okay. They faked me out. Hmm, not over here. Oh, here's the big tube. There's a couple of big tubes around. There's lots of mineral in these big tubes. We found copper. We'll come back to this um, big tube, but there's, um, you'll find copper, quartz, titanium. If you um, go much in there, you'll, in these side caves, there's more resources in there, but you'll also find, um, You'll find cave sulfur in there, but you'll also find crash fish. And the crash fish will attack your butt. Grab this and then oops, come here, titanium. This looks familiar. Well, it all looks familiar, but This looks like the approach I was using. Thirty seconds. Yeah. So I had um, previous playthroughs. I had. In fact, the last one I was doing, where I was demonstrating a lot more mods in more detail because I had a huge giant base here. I had two separate moon pools right in here, and then I had glass tubes going up that way to other base modules up there on the flats. I had some on this side of that rock, and then I had tubes connecting to more base modules on that side of the rock. So, uh, f for now, um, to demonstrate a little bit of basic base building, I'll just come right up here. Pick a spot 
that we'll, we may have to may have to change it up later on. But I just want to get out the habitat builder. He always uh, Riley Robinson. He always has to take a look at it like he's never seen it before. First time you pull it out. Don't have a lot for base modules until you um, go discover the blueprint for a multi-purpose room. But you throw it on a go away. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by five. Got another radio message. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. You know what? I'm going to back that up a little bit now, and maybe we won't have to move it later. Get it back here behind this rock. Uh oh. We've got to go up and watch this. Oh, it already blew up. Now we have the radiation suit. New blueprint acquired. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. I didn't even hear it. Okay. There's a... I can't remember it. I'll look it up before I come back next time. There's um There's a cheat code to actually fix the aurora and then make it explode again. <laughs> you can do it over and over and over as often as you want. Okay, we were in the middle of something here. Back up a little bit more. Come up a little. Something like that. Yeah, that's probably pretty close. We got room to put another one next to it. And we'll stick a uh, Base module, four way module, round about there, so. And I like to use a top hatch. We'll go in the base. It's not going to have any power. power only. Oxygen production offline. We'll go to the surface and get some power before I do the next part. Or get some air. To 
show you the next mod. I believe it's in here. Habitat control panel. We'll actually have to run back to the life pod to show you how this works. Mm. I'd like to stick it on one of those. Just doesn't want to. Let me place it unless I put it way out there. All right, we'll run back to the life pod quickly. Seventy-five meters towards that bent coral tube. Right over there. Oh, it's already got the. That's one of the. <laughs> that's one thing the habitat control panel does. I didn't think it did it until you put a battery in it, but apparently it works anyways. Um, one thing the habitat control panel does is it puts a beacon over your habitat, provided you have it turned on. So what we're going to do in here Go to electronics. Okay, we need to make a power. We need to make a regular battery first. That unlocks a power cell. Now we can make a power cell. And we can satisfy our. Hunger and thirst. Vital signs stabilizing. Get rid of this so it stops beeping. All oh, the radios beeping too. Swim back to our beacon. We'll put our power cell in there and voila. Our habitat Power has restored. juice. All primary systems online. Now you can do the same thing by building a um, solar panel. Solar panel gives you 75 power and only works in the daytime. But it is renewable. The battery will not recharge. Okay, you can uh, turn the beacon on and off. You have five pages worth of beacon icons. I'll stick that one on it. Beacon colors. I like to use something very noticeable. Exterior colors. Mm. Something like that. Interior color. How about... Ooh. Well, no, definitely not, no, 
No. Hmm. No. Hmm. That kind of hurts my eyes too. That's kind of bachelor pad-ish. My boy would like that. I'll leave it that for now. Okay, that's habitat control panel. Oh, and there's actually a little game down here. Um. <laughs> there's a little game down there. I'm going to take the battery out first. The power cell. The reason I'm doing Warning. that Emergency power only. is because if you lose the game, it runs your power cell dead. Oh. oh. Okay. You click it and then move it back and forth. I'm not doing very good at moving it back and forth. Game over. Click it and then move it. Uh. Miss. Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna lose so I can get out of here. Put the power cell back in. Power restored. All primary systems online. Now to uh, briefly demonstrate couple other mods. Bring up the habitat builder. I won't get too much into this until I have a bigger base. Um, decorations fabricator, seeds fabricator, docked vehicle storage, light switch, digital clock, analog clock, Auto sort receptacle, auto sorter, um, and then there's all sorts of lab carts, benches, forklifts, toys, lockers, cargo crates. other benches, um, briefly here I'm going to put up a couple things, trying to keep away from those end frames so that I maybe don't have to remove these later but you know I'll probably end up having to move this whole module okay now let's say for instance I were to see I haven't even 
scanned the blueprint of a bench yet, but I've got this empty desk, which is almost too big to even put in here. And I think I can grab the fabricator from the side over here. No, don't unmake it. Want to use it. And say I made a big skeleton head. Once that skeleton head is in a quick slot, you can pull it up and place it on the table. Or you want a Reaper Leviathan doll. in six you can by tapping six and rotating the center mouse wheel you gotta keep tapping six or it will go to the next quick slot location you can adjust it and place it okay decorations fabricator seeds fabricator Habitat control panel, a desk that the decorations fabricator gives you. Um, I'll probably deconstruct all this at the beginning of the next stream. But for now, I'm just going to exit base and uh, go back to the life pod and see what those radio messages are about. Probably grab those radio messages and then and then quit the stream there for this evening. Their life, uh, their uh, sea glide didn't last. Is that it? I thought I saw two signals flash up on the screen. Okay, there's life pod three's coordinates. There's our habitat with its new color and its new little house shape. There's Life Pod 3's signal. We can go in. Oh, actually, this will give me a chance to show you uh, another mod when I go to Beacon Manager. There's our radiation suit. We can make that at the beginning of the next stream. I'll get rid of this stuff. Blueprint for the radiation suit. There's um, another mod that allows you to put these blueprints into picture frames in your base. Okay, we're going to go to a Beacon Manager and there is a map that if you've 
never played Subnautica before, which I don't know how it would be possible. It's been out for a couple of years. Um, if you've never played Subnautica before, this map would be a huge spoiler for you. Because it shows you where everything is. Now it's not doing that at present because I haven't personally been to all those areas in this playthrough. And probably fog is turned on or something like that. And I'm not going to sit here and page through all this too much right now. A little early for that. But what I'm going to do is turn the map off right now and show the, you that you can change the colors on these beacons and I'm going to make it the same color as the other one because I don't like that pale blue. It's hard to see. I like these beacons to stand out until I don't need them anymore then you can turn them off. Life pod, I'll leave life pod the way it is. All right. All right. Well, this is probably where I'll leave it. We'll pick up here. Pick up here uh, tomorrow, the next day, next stream watch the aurora burn now that uh, actually now that the aurora has exploded and we've run through a little bit of quick base building and demonstrated a little bit of the of what the decorations fabricator can do it does so much more i think um next time around i'll probably get into seeking out the first few blueprints um Sea Glide, Mobile Vehicle Bay, and Sea Moth. And Laser Cutter and Propulsion Cannon. Yeah. Sea Glide, Mobile Vehicle Bay, Sea Moth, Laser Cutter. Yeah, so um, the point being, so we can go, we'll have the tools and equipment necessary to make a trip over to the Aurora and do the things we need to do over there. So we'll pick up with that tomorrow. I think tomorrow. And um, I'll probably put this video out as a rerun tonight. And we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Have a good night.